So now what I want to do is I want to go over distance and displacement with you. Now remember, this information can be found in your textbook, so you can go and you can take a look. And like I said, you don't need to write everything down that are on these slides, just what you feel you need to remember that you don't understand. So distance versus displacement. Distance is the total length traveled between two points. There's no direction, just units. Distance is a scalar quantity. It has magnitude only. Displacement is the shortest distance between two points. It's a change in position, final position minus initial position. So we always need a frame of reference. We need to know where did we start. It's a vector quantity. It has magnitude and direction. Now, when we're only talking about one dimensional motion or linear motion, we always say that north or east is considered the positive direction and south or west is the negative direction. Position and coordinate system. To specify position, we need a reference point, the origin, a distance from the origin and a direction from the origin. The combination of an origin and an axis marked in both the positive and negative directions makes a coordinate system. A change of position is called a displacement. Displacement is the difference between a final position and an initial position. And you always do final minus initial. So in this case, we're going to use delta x to represent displacement. So our final was at zero feet minus our initial was at 50 feet. So we get a negative 50 feet as our displacement. Now, since in a sense we're going left, in a sense we're going west, it is the negative direction. All right, let's do a quick check. Maria is at a position x equals 23 meters. She then undergoes a displacement of negative 50 meters. What is her final position? So let's think about that coordinate system. All right, you have an answer. If you said negative 25 meters, you're correct. All right, here's another one. Use the diagram below to determine the distance traveled and resulting displacement of the skier during the three minutes indicated. So, goes from A to B, figure out the distance. B to C, figure out the distance. C to D, figure out the distance. And then you're gonna add them all together. When you add them all together, you should be getting 420 meters. But the displacement, remember, is different. Final position minus initial position, D minus A. Well, we can see that's a difference of 140 meters, and he traveled 140 meters to the right. Okay, so that under there, it says 140 meters to the right. All right, how about the coach that walks the sidelines during a football game? All right, so we do have some negative values here. Here's our origin. Okay, so goes from A to B, figure out the yards, B to C, figure out the yards, C to D. Now, if you have to stop the video at any point to figure it out before I give the answer, please do so. All right, so the total distance traveled by the coach is going to be 95 yards. Now, think now, here's the initial position, here's the final. Let's get the displacement. Well, 50 to zero and another five, that means he traveled, well, the displacement here is 55 yards to the left. All right, last slide. What is the displacement of the cross country team if they begin at the school, run 10 miles and finish back at the school? Think final position minus initial position, zero miles. All right, how about what is the distance and displacement of the race car drivers in the Indy 500. You know what that 500 means? So what's the distance that they travel? The distance is 500 miles. What's the displacement? Do they start and end at the same point? Yes, they do. So a displacement of zero miles. Okay, that's it for these notes.